Meta reversed. For somebody who's lived in so many different countries, I don't actually speak so many different languages. So because I can do anything that I want with NFTs and the metaverse, I've decided to create my own language. So I took the alphabet, I reimagined it for Web 3.0, and then I layered on top of it my sound bites to actually create the alpha bites. So the first word I wanted to actually create was a specific word for Art Dubai with Mora Collective. Art Dubai has an NFT section this year. And when you go to an NFT section, you expect to see screens and digital art. So what I wanted to do is reverse that and go from the digital world to the physical world. In a way, reversing it. So the first word from my collection of the alphabites is the word meta reversed. So one of the great advantages of NFTs or one of the USPs of NFTs is that you can take a physical asset and you can effectively fractionalize it by having multiple NFTs. So when I created my sculpture, I thought, yes, I'm going to create an NFT collection with multiple different NFTs and fractionalize the physical one. But I thought, why not go one step further and actually fractionalize the physical sculpture itself? The sculpture is made out of slices of aluminium that I've dipped and treated in gold, silver, and copper finishing. And they are effectively 144 detachable layers, and the 145th is the base layer of the uh, artwork. And that's stuck onto a stainless steel canvas. So I fractionalized the sculpture into 145 physical pieces. But when you buy the NFT, you don't know which one you're going to get. So you might get one of the smaller pieces, or you might get one of the larger pieces, or you might be the lucky one to actually get the full sculpture. But don't be disappointed if you get a small piece, because if you know anything about rarity and scarcity, you'll see that some of the smaller pieces actually have less of them. So they're more rare and more scarce, which actually makes them more valuable. But the large ones are beautiful, and there's a really beautiful chunkiness to them that has a real presence when you do own them. The most amazing thing as well about the sculpture is that the layers and the height of the stacks of the aluminium represents the peaks and troughs of the sound wave. So when there's a peak of the sound wave, for example, when you go met on the meta, the peak goes up. So you can see the M has got a higher stack. So the first one of the Mobius circle has got a higher stack. The dot is, the, is E in Morse code, and the sound wave goes down at that point. So you've got a smaller stack, and the, the actual shape as well is actually smaller. So the height and the size of the symbols represents the height, the peak, and the trough of the sound wave. When you come down to the horizontal view, you can actually see the ups and downs of the sound wave. If you look really closely as well, it actually looks like a cityscape, which is a hark back to my original collection that I did of cities such as Dubai and London. That's not enough by going from the digital to the physical. I've taken it back to the digital through the NFTs, but also by layering augmented reality. When you scan a QR code, that activates the augmented reality. You scan it and you place it across the image of the word meta reversed, and the story gets told. First, the voice note and the sound wave comes up of me saying the word meta reversed. The images then come up to then showcase the actual artwork. And then, like magic, it then decodes it back into English. So it takes my Alphabytes language back into English so everyone can understand it. There's the generative NFTs, the sculpture that's fractionalized, the augmented reality led on top of it. But what I wanted to do was showcase all of the different facets that NFTs can show. Because I feel that NFTs, everybody talks just about 
um, you know, the money aspect of it. For me, NFTs unlock so much creativity and there's so many different ways in which you can approach it. And I wanted to put all of that in one piece. So now we've gone from the meta reversed and I'm gonna take you into the metaverse. So I've got a piece of land in Decentraland. It's next to Frankie's Tavern. It's minus 66, minus 113 in terms of coordinates. So I've also created a digital hoodie for your avatar to wear in Decentraland. I've also created this Abaya, which when you activate the NFC chip, this will also turn into augmented reality. And you'll also be able to find that in the metaverse as an Abaya as well. So we've gone from the digital world to the physical as a sculpture, back to the digital world through augmented reality and into the dimension of the metaverse, wearing your own clothes. And this is what I want people to see, is that you can create so many different aspects to NFTs and you can be as innovative and as creative as you like. The only thing that's stopping you is your imagination. Meta reversed. Okay guys, so this is Amrita's new language, combining the alphabet reimagined for Web 3.0 with the sound bites, creating the alphabites. And this word is my first word from the collection, which says meta reversed. Or if you look at it, it says meta reversed. So you can actually see the sound wave as it goes up and down. Whereas there's the peak of the sound wave is you have the high troughs here, and then this goes down and up um, to actually give you the concept of the shape of the sound wave. When you get the physical slice of the sculpture, it then will come framed on an aluminium canvas just like this, which will be signed by myself here. So this will be the small, this will be the medium, and there's also a large size. 